How's it going, Indimaging fans? Welcome back to another 2 Minute Tuesday. In today's 2 Minute Tuesday, we're going to talk about a very special feature found on our IP series cameras. That's going to be the ability to stream directly to places such as YouTube, Facebook, or Vimeo without the hardware or software. This is going to be directly from the camera itself to the source that you want to send it. So this is especially useful for workflows that are on a budget or you only have one camera. So with that said, let's get started. All right, and to demonstrate this, we're going to be using a PTZ X12 IP right in front of me. Now, this PTZ X12 IP is connected to a router, which is in turn connected to the internet. Um, you can connect this to a switch as well, but you have to make sure that there's internet going into the switch, okay? Or else this is not going to work. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull up the preview. Hello, and you're going to open up the menu and you're going to go to system. Now you need to make sure that DHCP is on for this. If it is off, this is not going to work. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to power cycle the camera. And once it comes back online, you're going to go ahead and open the menu again. And you're going to go down to system and you're going to take note of the new IP address. So my new one right here, 192.168.254.122. So once you get that, you're going to go ahead and exit the menu and you're going to head to your computer. All right, now that you have the IP address, we're going to go ahead and connect to that specific camera. And we're going to get hit with the login. So go ahead and log in. And then you're going to go to settings. Under settings, you're going to see a tab called video transmission. And this is the RTMP field. So this is where you're going to take whatever social media uh, platforms RTMP is, and you're going to plug that in. So right now I have YouTube. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the stream URL first. So whatever stream URLs uh, for whatever site you're using, you put that first. So go ahead and paste that. And then next, you're going to take the key. So we're going to copy the key. And now before you paste the key, you're going to want to put one forward slash, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and paste the key. So this is going to be different for everybody. This is just for our YouTube channel. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn this on and we're going to click save. Now, if you did it successfully, it's going to say successful and you're going to see a check mark right here. Boom. And now after just give it a couple seconds, you're going to see that I'm live now. So it's that easy. So do keep in mind that if you're doing RTMP streaming to any of these social media sites, there's always going to be a 7 to 10 second delay or more depending on your internet. If you want to do audio, you can also embed audio via these streams by using the 3.5 millimeter jack in the back of the PTZ or the HD NDI 200 itself. Now, if you did enjoy this content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you can because it's always helping out with our content. If you have any questions, as usual, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But other than that, have a great day.